Yo, what's up everybody? It's your main man here, DJ Ron the Mechanic. Back with another video, y'all. So yeah, hey, look, I'm back at it again with those kickers, y'all. So this time, just like the title say, hey, are they fixed? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and see. All right, we are back. As y'all see, here they go. Both of them right there. If you hadn't seen the uh, the other video, matter of fact, go back to the very first video when I uh, bought this box right here. If you remember, this is the box that both of those kickers came out of. Now, of course, y'all remember how, well, they wasn't damaged, but let's just say they didn't have any surround on them. Yes but they still work it. So, do a little couple of days of working with these here. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Now, here's the first one that I worked on. There it is right there. I mean, I wasn't perfect on with the glue and everything, you know, so, hey, it is what it is. I'm not a professional, so this was the first one I did, so. Yeah, but the thing is, hey, that bad boy works though. Yep, it works. So now, here's the other one. Now I know I didn't record doing that day, you know, cause like I said, it was a long process of cleaning. I mean, it was a lot of cleaning that I had to do to get that old stuff off, but yeah, I think I, I think I did a better job on this one here. So yeah, now y'all remember how I looked at it at first, right? I'm gonna pull up a picture of it. So now, let's look at it fixed. Let's see. Oh boy, man, that old thing got some weight to it. Boom! Look at it now. Yeah, I think I did a better job on this one. The first one, uh. I was like a little nervous, you know, because, you know, it was a polycomb first time working with one. I'm like, oh no, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I wanted to make sure that the edges stick on and everything, so, yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we got a little something peeling off there. Uh oh, we might be in business here. Yeah. Well, that's all right, but yeah. So, that was the deal with the first one, y'all. I was like, oh, I wanna make sure that, it, uh, that the surround stick on it, you know? I wanna make sure it don't nothing come apart, you know? So, yeah, that's the result of that one. But the second one, yeah, kinda took my time with this one here. Ooh, it look good, don't it? Yeah. The old Kicker Comp VRs. Matter of fact, I looked up the history on these just to give you an indication how old these kickers are, these came out in 1993, y'all. Now y'all do the math. 1993, that's how old these subs are. I mean, come on, look, check it out. Y'all see the terminals on there? Yes. This is 1993 technology right here from Kicker, so yeah. I got both of them together. So, now my last video, I tested this one out, so now let's go ahead and test out this one here. I wanna make sure it's working good. Uh, I pretty much did the same thing. I lit the subwoofer uh, set like overnight, really and truly, I let it sit uh, longer than this one here did, really. I let this one here uh, sit about, probably say about two days. Just let it just sit up, you know? So, I mean, it, hey, it looks good though. Look at that. Like I said, I took my time on this one here. I mean, you know, you see how clean it looks, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know that one look a little sloppy, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, that's what I've been waiting for right here. So, 
got some wires already. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook those up. And I gotta get my thumb drive, my little USB, so I can hook it up on the stereo. And hey, we're gonna see what it do. So uh, let me go ahead and handle that, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, y'all. So y'all see, I got it uh, hooked up. Got it sitting up there. Eventually, I'm gonna still have to hold it just to make sure it don't uh, fall off or anything, you know. But uh, yeah, y'all see, got it sitting up there. And little kicker still look good though. Y'all see the magnet on the back of it? So let's go ahead and fire up the old garage system now. Let's get it lined up. So what I did, uh, I, I put some YouTube approved music on this USB here. So let's be mindful. I can't play no other music, you know, I'm not trying to get no copyright or anything. So you have to bear with me. So we're using YouTube music for the demo on this. All right. Go ahead and swap it over to USB. Let me see. All right, I think we should be good. Let me go ahead and turn this. Put it on that. All right, we got some plan, so let's see if, we, if it's still good. Give it a little volume. y'all say for uh, what if i do the math correct what is this uh what a 30 plus year old subwoofer 
Y'all do the math. Check that out. Like I said, this came out. This is was this right here was part of the 1993 subwoofer line lineup. Hmm. Wow. Still sounds pretty good. Hey, y'all get in the comments. Tell me what y'all think, man. Not bad for a whole subwoofer. And I did the fixing myself. That's right. So look, let me see if I can find another track to play right quick. See here. Let me see. Uh, of course, this is a few few uh, favorites right here. Let's try this on Fire and Ice. Something with a little bump to it. I want to make it move a little bit. Let me see if this one here got a little something here. For the win now. All right. I'm gonna let it sit up a little bit, but you know, let a little air come through that voice call. But yeah, it's performing pretty good now. I'm gonna crank it up a little bit more. I wanna really see it go. Comment below. Tell me what y'all think. Hey, these are 30 plus year old subs. All they needed was just a little surround fixing on there. Hey, I fixed it and y'all see it. That bad boy still sound good. See, that's how you know. That's a quality subwoofer there. When Kicker made these here, they know what they were doing. Yes. 
And look. So I did do a uh, pretty good job on it. Everything intact. Yes. So, boy, boy, boy. I got both of them ready to go now. Yes, indeed. Boy. Let's look at both of them together there. Yep. Look at that. Both of them kickers are in business. Yes, sir. The Comp VRs are ready to go. Yeah. So you know what that means now. Since we done tested both of them, they working. That's gonna be the next test right there. Installing them in the box to see what they uh, really do, you know? And also just to make sure that my little fixings are uh, hold up. So that's what I'm excited about that right there. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh, do a video on that there, y'all. So, uh, you know, take y'all, you know, through the little whole little process. You know, we go pull those out, the balls, and go on with the old schools back in there. That's right. Ooh, yeah, I'm excited now. Because if they sound pretty decent free air, man, I'm just waiting to see how they sound in this here. Because even these little cheapy weepers here didn't sound too bad in this box, though, you know? I mean, they, uh, you know, <laughs> I should say it, uh, they're not built like these, but, hey, they held their own a little bit. Hey, if you hadn't seen the video when I installed these in my trunk, make sure y'all go check it out and see what, uh, see how much bass that these have put out. Didn't sound too bad. But this is the one I've been waiting for right here. These two here. So, yeah. So, hey, look, y'all. Look, that's pretty much it. I am done with that. So, I just wanted to bring this here to y'all just to show you. I have both of the subs are fixed. That's right. Both of the subs are fixed, y'all. I have some old school gems in my possession. The old kickers. Comp VRs, that's right. Yep. So, hey, look, that right there is just a, uh, what you call it? That's a piece of uh, audio history right there. That's right. So, hey, look, y'all, this DJ Run a Mechanic here, hey, look. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. So that way you won't miss a video because I know y'all gonna wanna hear how these sound in this box. I do too. So you know I can't wait for that. Boy, I'm excited. Ooh, ooh. Legendary Kickers. Man. Like I said, those subs are from the 1993 lineup. Man, you, like I say, that's, that's 30 plus years old. You know how I know. That was the year I graduated in 1993, so that's how I know. Wow, I'm excited, y'all. Yeah. And matter of fact, uh, when I you know, do that video, we gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison showing you what the balls look like compared to the uh, kickers so yeah we definitely go do that so hey look i am done so like i said remember turn on that notification bell y'all so uh we can enjoy that that next video yes i'm excited for this here yep the old kicker is up done that's right yeah i know this ain't the the prettiest looking but hey i made up for it on this one look at that Ooh, don't it look good that's right. That's right. So look, just a note too. Also, hey, look, if you just happen to have any subwoofers that still work, but the surround is bad, 
you can go right there on eBay and order you a surround kit and fix them yourself. Hey, that's what I did. Why throw away when they were still working? Guess what? I got me some subwoofers now. That's right. So hey, look y'all. I am out, and like I said, don't forget, have that notification bell on because we gonna have some fun with this in the box, and guess what? We gonna try it out in the car next too. That's right. So all right, y'all, this is DJ Ron Mechanic. Hey, look, I am out, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Yeah, old school at his best. Kickers.